Yeah, thank you so much. Um, if, you, if we cast our minds back to the last few months, um, where we've actually seen a lot of the disruptions from COVID, um, not just for Coca-Cola, but for the entire uh, industries across the world, it's indeed been a very uh, challenging time. Um, but if, if you look at it in the context of what the company stands for, our purpose is to refresh the world and make a difference. So globally, you would see a lot of deliberate effort put in into making sure that we support our communities as we all navigate this crisis. So specifically, you would see that um, across the globe, we sometime April last year, we actually put a pause on our commercial advertisement and pivoted it into uh, risk-based engagement with the consumers to to live uh, to to keep safe and make sure that uh, we everybody adheres to to the regulations uh, that keeps people from being you know uh, contracting and more and more of this as we go forward. Uh, specifically in Nigeria, you would also see that we've pivoted our uh, efforts again to support more of the communities. Specifically, we gave, uh, we partnered with the International Red Cross, uh, donated more than 200 uh, million Naira to support uh, stay safe communication. Uh, and even with our retailers, uh, the retailers, the women in our value chains, we also provided additional funds in excess of 200 million. Uh, to help them stabilize their businesses as a result of the impact of the disruption. So uh, essentially, uh, it, it is every activity that you see come out of a system is indicative of the purpose, which is to, to make a difference. And in fact, I must really say congratulations to the system team who, through the collaboration and focus, made sure that our consumers still had access to their food and beverages uh, even during the height and the peak of the lockdown. So in essence, I think it's, it's really taught us more how to live true to our purpose and we've continued to, to, to do that with the consumers, uh, with our customers and with the communities we operate in at, at large. Okay, um, you know, <laughs> right from the, the first bottle that was uh, produced in this country 70 years ago, to your point, uh, up until now, it's been a, a journey of partnership, sustainable partnership with, uh, with the community and our consumers. So uh, the COVID experience is just one of many uh, of such situations where we've had to navigate the challenges. Uh, I always tell people we acknowledge uh, challenges in the environment, but we don't give them as excuses. We work with our bottling partners, uh, with the wider stakeholder community as a whole, to do find solutions to this, and COVID is not going to be an exception. Um, I mean, if you look at the 70 years experience that we've had in the country, uh, we have continued to make significant investment in expanding the business while making sure that we do so in the right way. Doing business the right way is the, is the centerpiece of how the Coca-Cola system operates. Today, we have footprints in more than 55 commercial territories across Nigeria. We have uh, eight production plants in different locations in the country. Uh, and in the last 30 years, we've employed more than 55,000 Nigerians while providing uh, means of livelihood to millions who, uh, of, of our, our countrymen who support our businesses either upstream or downstream, whether as retailers or as wholesalers, uh, and that continues to hold through even with the COVID disruption that we see. Um, the other part is around uh, our commitment to uh, to the communities, uh, you will see uh, 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 community empowerment is the center stage of the purpose and the growth strategy for the company globally. Uh, and you will see that radiating in the different platforms, our flagship programs that we've continued to execute in the market. 5x20 initiative is an example where 
the global mandate between 2010 and 2020 was to empower 5 million women uh, uh, globally. Uh, we crossed that and we overachieved it with a total of 6 million women participating in that program. And Nigeria specifically contributed 450,000 to that number, which again is, is, uh, is an attestment to the fact that Nigeria continues to be a key focus area for us uh, as we do our business and do it in, in a way that reaches uh, the community. So uh, an, another part, another area that I would like to dialogue uh, is, is the impact on the Nigerian talent. Uh, we, do, we do know that we will need to grow the business as we've continued to do, but we are focused on growing the business and also growing the talent at the same time. So, I mean, I'm, an, I'm a testament to that. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Nigerian, I'm the managing director. And if you look at the team that we have, we, we value diversity, we value cultural uh, uh, collaboration. And today we have roughly 50% of our team uh, being uh, female talent, which again is, uh, is what the company holds true and you will see it uh, radiate across. So essentially, uh, to your point, uh, COVID is just one of many. We stay true to the purpose of growing the business and growing the economy while at the same time uh, ensuring that we enrich the lives of our people, the women, the youths, uh, and the society at large. Everything we do puts our consumers at the center uh, of our strategies. So uh, what us on the Coca-Cola side and working with our bottling partners strive to do is to connect more with our consumers, uh, listen more to uh, what the beverages, their lives, uh, the choices they are making, and uh, taking learnings from that to give them the loved beverages that we provide uh, in such a way that it makes uh, the moments in their lives uh, uh, enjoyable. So essentially, we, together with our uh, bottling partners, we collaborate with the system to make sure that what we call the system advantage, which is working with our bottling partners, especially in Nigeria, Nigerian bottling company, to ensure that we focus on distributing uh, and executing our products in the market in such a way that our shoppers and our consumers, they have access to their loved beverages where they want it, how they want it, and in what condition they enjoy it. And that continues to be what we do today. Um, from a growth standpoint, Nigeria is easily, uh, I mean, it can easily be one of the, the most industrialized countries in the world. Of course, like every, uh, uh, like every uh, developing country, we do have our fair share uh, of uh, challenges, but the opportunities are humongous. I mean, we have more than 170 million consumers in this country who continue to enjoy uh, our beverages. We have a very young and youthful population. Uh, essentially, 75% of Nigeria's population is below 35 years old. Uh, and if you look at that, I mean, it's, it just gives you a view of what the headroom could be. So. Uh, and that is why all our strategies are tailored to making sure that we give our consumers the loved beverages and go at the micro moments in, in, in their days to provide them with the right uh, array of uh, uh, diverse beverages uh, that, uh, that touches point to them, which includes the carbonated soft drinks that, uh, that people know and also uh, um, other non-carbonated soft drinks like Eva Water here, uh, like Juices, Five Alive, uh, and many more. So um, that essentially is what we strive to achieve, and we believe that the, the best is yet to come. Our sustainability agenda as a company um, rests on four Ws. It's water, waste, women, and well-being, right? Uh, if you look at the sustainability journey for Nigeria, I think our system actually uh, started the journey a long time ago. 
Uh, in 2005, our bottling partner, uh, Nigerian Bottling Company, uh, set up uh, a partnership with a local investor, Alchem uh, Chemicals, to, to set up a large-scale collection and recycling facility for plastic bottle, which was uh, then turned into, into fiber. Uh, just further down the line in 2012, uh, us on the Coca-Cola Nigeria side, working closely with our bottling partners, Nigerian Bottling Company, uh, motivated for an industry alliance uh, uh, called Fibra, which is uh, designed to be a producer extended responsibility outfit for the food and beverage industry. And today we boast of uh, many of the food and beverage uh, uh, players today who are partners in, 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 in that uh, alliance. We have the likes of Nestle, Nigerian Beauties, uh, Seven Up Bottling Company, and the whole idea is that we, uh, through that alliance, uh, anchor uh, the step change in sustainability uh, initiatives uh, for the country, particularly around plastic waste management. So it is a journey. We started and we, see, we know that there is a lot to be done and we are doing a lot to make sure that we, we help uh, address the, pro the problem around uh, packaging waste management. Yeah. You know, I, I started earlier on by saying challenges are meant to be embraced like we do, so we don't give them as excuses. I think part of the job we do, uh, and, and that's why we, we there's some we call Coca-Cola system advantage because it entails us on the company side working very closely with our bottling partners who are very capable at making sure that they have the most efficient distribution systems to allow us get our products to the consumers in more efficient ways uh, that, that, uh, that, that accommodates the headwinds that come from, from business operations. So on the basis of that, uh, our bottling partners are very close to the market. They work very closely with the customers. And based on that, there's a lot of uh, optimization work around how we distribute our products, how we execute our products that allows us to, to face these headwinds as they come. So essentially, we, we take the business challenges as they come and on the basis of that, we, we, we navigate uh, uh, as, 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 as quick and as efficient as possible. Of course, the focus is how do we continue to remove cost from our operations that allows us to absorb these headwinds as, uh, as they come along. We, we continue to look at the recipes for our products to make sure that we evolve our beverages that the, our consumers love in line with their changing preferences and lifestyles. So um, we have our consumers who still like their sugar. Sugar is good, but when consumed in moderation, right? Um, some of our consumers, uh, we are aware that some consumers want less sweet versions, less flavored versions of their favorite beverages. And that's why we continue to introduce um, a wide array of choices uh, for our consumers. For example, we have now we have Coca-Cola, original taste with less sugar. And we also acknowledge that our consumers like our core brands, but some of them do not like it with the sugar. So if you check, we've actually been making a lot of innovation around even the core brands. Today we have Coke Zero, we have Fanta Zero, we have Sprite Zero. Again, all in acknowledgement of the fact that uh, our consumers' uh, tastes evolve and this sugar is a big concern, particularly uh, from a health and safety uh, uh, perspective because we do believe that this whole sugar discussion, it's about how much you take in versus how much calories you burn. So for the, the very active consumers, they would want their sugar, right? But for the consumers that are uh, health conscious, trying to dial down their sugar intake, probably because of the lifestyle. 
we have beverage offerings for them. So the game is more of diversity to fit into the lifestyles of the consumer uh, and that is what we continue to, to do. And beyond the sparkling beverages, which is very important that, we, that I'm calling out here, we do have a wider range of non-sparkling beverages to refresh our consumers. In front of me here is a bottle of Eva. This is uh, the Coca-Cola product, is water. We have juices, we have uh, I mean, in many parts of the world, tea, sports drinks, so that go beyond the traditional sparkling. So uh, the purpose of a company is to be, a, uh, the, the objective of a company is to be a total beverage company, which means that for every moment in the day of the consumer, we give you access to the right beverage that suits your lifestyle and the motivation for that and that is what we continue to 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 do going forward yeah honestly uh, apart from from the ones i probably have highlighted earlier on i mean we have our fair share uh, infrastructural development gaps um, some projected volatility in the macros uh, and like I said, we don't, challenges are not an excuse. So uh, at the same time when there are challenges, there are many more reasons to believe that there are opportunities. Uh, I've mentioned earlier on, we have one of the most youthful populations, just a country of 206 million people. Nigeria is the most populous black nation on, on, on the on the in fact, in the world. And that just projects a lot of opportunities. So rather than, rather than amplifying what the challenges are, the question is, to what extent are we listening to our consumers? To what extent are we offering the beverage solutions that addresses their need states, their occasions in the micro moments? And to what extent are we doing those efficiently to make sure that we also add value to our, uh, our, our, our retailers and our wholesalers in that process. And overarchingly, to what extent are we doing business to drive an inclusive growth for ourselves, our system, and the communities that we operate in, uh, and the nation as a whole. And those are where the, the big focus areas for us are. 5 by 20 Women Empowerment Initiative, Replenish Africa uh, um, Initiative, which with which we've accessed more than uh, uh, 95,000 communities all over. Um, and if you look at, we have another initiative called the Safe Bath Initiative, which again, we've partnered with, uh, with, uh, uh, with, um, with, with an NGO to provide access to hospital equipment that allows us to minimize uh, uh, maternal and child uh, bath mortalities uh, cut across about 10 universities today uh, are enjoying from that. And those are some of the areas that we look at as we uh, expand our businesses uh, uh, going forward. So that essentially is would be my response. Let's not focus too much on the challenges because every developing country has challenges. What are the opportunities for growth? How are we driving the growth in an inclusive way? and how we are doing the, to the community and by that growing uh, the, 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 the country as a result of our activities. It is, uh, again I'll go back to the purpose of the company, refresh the world and make a difference. The make a difference angle of it, it's what it is in the choices that we make from a sustainability standpoint. We have four W's, we have women, we have waste, we have water and we have well-being. Uh, a lot of research has shown that when women are empowered, it has, uh, it has an escalating impact on the community empowerment as a whole because women uh, form the bedrock of the home and the growth in the, in the society. So uh, that is one of the reasons why we've continued to focus on the partnership with women within our communities uh, more from a community development standpoint so that we can have the escalating impact of our initiatives uh, in the society at large. Ditto for waste, we know uh, packaging waste is a global issue. We have the right, uh, we have the responsibility to partner with our communities, with the world, 
to, to solve this, which is why the company has an ambitious target uh, of helping to recycle one bottle or one can for everyone we put out there by 2030 and we continue to push that. So those are strategic projects that are targeted at uh, developing uh, the economy, developing the environment while growing our business, but at the same time helping to address the topical issues uh, that are crippling, uh, that are crippling, crippling uh, the world uh, as a whole. I, I feel super privileged to be sitting in this role um, and I did want to say thank you to, to the previous uh, MDs. Uh, they've done a phenomenal job in, in building the business into what it is today uh, and I believe that I have very big shoes to fill in. Uh, that said, uh, I think uh, my experiences working for the company in other regions in similar markets uh, has prepared me to really understand how the business landscape could be, the significant opportunity that we have in Nigeria. Uh, and like you said, I'm Nigerian, I'm, I'm, I'm local. I believe I understand my people, I understand the market. And uh, I am very hopeful and I'm really confident that the best is yet to come. I want to, in partnership with my team and my bottling uh, partner, Nigerian Bottling Company, uh, we, we, we want to step change uh, the, the, the growth for the business uh, and while doing so continue to empower, even step change more, uh, our empowerment initiatives to grow uh, the business in an inclusive and sustainable way as we go forward. Uh, I'm also very passionate about youth empowerment uh, and I think that I can also be an icon of uh, optimism for the next generation and really looking forward to the cool stuff coming out of this. As, uh, as, as the youths uh, look at this opportunity for, as a possible way uh, of, of, uh, of getting empowered in, even into the future. So in a nutshell, I'm super excited and I'm really, really looking forward to, to, making, to making history. The best is yet to come. The, the, the Chi acquisition is it's just a demonstration of the Coca-Cola's comp uh, Coca company's uh, objective to be a total beverage solution. Uh, we're talking earlier on, we talked about sugar in Coke and, you know, and I extended it to say we have a wide array of beverages, even beyond the traditional sparkling products that we have. So that acquisition allowed the company to play in much more beverage, in more beverage segments than we used to have and is in line with the objective to make sure that for every moment in the life of the consumer, we are able to provide them with the loved brands that enriches those moments, and that is what it's been helping us to do. So it's, uh, it's, 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 just, it's just bringing the vision to life. Consumers can always look forward to us enriching their, their moments, their, their beverage consumption moments. I think that uh, we have uh, a vibrant consumer base, we, we, and I believe that um, there are opportunities to learn more, to, to hear them more, and for us to continue to tailor our beverage solutions uh, to, to give them what, what they require at the different phases of their lives. So, uh, and that has been the history, that has been the legacy of the business uh, in Nigeria, and our consumers should not expect anything less than that promise of quality, promise of personalization, and promise of the optimism that our, our beverage products uh, uh, give out uh, as, as they reach the moment of consumption. So again, the, the business landscape is evolving, so, uh, but to the best of my knowledge, I don't know whether it's a yes or a no. So what I know today is there is a there is a lot of opportunity for growth in the market and we will be uh, working with our bottling partners, our customers, our community as a large, at large to advance uh, our beverage ambition for, for the country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.